Hey, does your car suck? Do you have what it takes to put your car through the ringer? Do you have what it takes to put your car on an exposed flame and let me roast it? Well, if you do, you came to the right place. Today, we are going to be roasting some subscriber cars. How is it going, guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video. Um, and like I said, we are going to be flaming up your guys' cars. Now, we might have a couple Karens and Kevins in the comments saying, You bring me to man, me. They submitted their car and asked me to roast it. And if someone submitted someone else's car, then that's their fault. I'm sorry. We don't talk about that. Anyways, though, yeah, we are going to be roasting people's cars. Don't get offended by it. I try not to say anything too bad, but at the same time, if you think I crossed a line, I'm not being serious when I'm making these videos. I'm just roasting cars. Like I'm literally just, just talking shit on purpose. Like that is the whole purpose of it. If you want to see your car in this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Let's get this video to... I don't, let's do an easy 5,000 likes. That's super easy. You're watching this. You want to see your car in it. Hit the like button. Send it to my Gmail, drewpeacock.clips at gmail.com. Put in the subject bar roast, and it should end up in a video eventually. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive right in. All right. First car, a Mini Coupe. A really depressing way to start a car episode, if I do say so myself. It looks like he completely plasti dipped his car, which would have been cool probably about five to 10 years ago, but we're in 2022 now. Time to put the kid shit away. He also put a super cool, you know, fighter jet teeth decal on his bridge. British Mini Cooper. There's nothing aggressive about this car from factory and adding some phony ass teeth on the side of it, it's not helping you. He probably chose the single ugliest wheel choice ever. This wheel choice allows everyone to see just how puny his little brakes are because this car doesn't make any power whatsoever. I don't think I ever have or ever will go up to a Mini Cooper with its hood popped and expect to see something cool. Underneath the hood is just pure disappointment and pure regrets. You could take all of the stylish photos you want, but there isn't a single photo that you sent me that makes me think, damn, I want a Mini Cooper now. Really quickly, I just want to touch on his build sheet. He sent me a, a build sheet of his car. First of all, any of this cosmetic shit I did not see, so you wasted your money there. The only thing I noticed was your shitty Plasti Dip. At the same time, you have a performance section, which is just hilarious because you bumped up the horsepower to a whopping 240 wheel horsepower. You might be able to be a Honda CRV if he gives you the hit. It's meant to be a track toy. That has to be the most boring track toy I've ever seen. I would literally rather have a V6 Mustang than this automatic too. cockroach car oh great homeboys got the luxury car but can't afford to put matching set of wheels all the way around you wasted your money on the shitty mercedes and now you can't afford to actually put wheels on it oh there we go what fucking brand wheel is that go back and get your money back those are hideous also what is with this carolina squat why is your front sticking up way higher than the rear and that is the perfect silhouette of a roach if you do ask me oh great he put this thing on a dyno why are you wasting your money Ooh, 419 wheel horsepower on a car that weighs over 4,000 pounds. A stock Miata probably feels quicker than this. Also, you got some crazy dips all over your graph. That shit falls off hard at the end. Still got the Carolina squat. At this point, just return it and go get yourself a BMW. I'm not even a BMW fanboy, but you made a horrible mistake with this car. You fucked up the wheels and the fitment. You fucked up the tune. I can only imagine what the rest of the car is like. 91 Integra, roast me. Don't worry, I will. Not only do you have a 91 Integra, but your photo quality looks like it's from the 90s. Oh, you got a B-Series non-VTEC in there. Sick. What do you got all these gauges for? Is your shit even boosted? Because it doesn't look like it. It looks like you got a cold air intake and some headers. One gauge must be for your air conditioning to see how much power you're just sucking out of the motor whenever you turn it on. I can't even tell what the second one is. It's probably how many bitches you've pulled with this car and it's always stuck on zero. It's not broken. It's true. Your best photo of the car is one where I can barely see it. Take more like that. Great. We had a Mercedes boy. Now we have a BMW boy. Which one is worse? This guy's at a car wash. His car already looks clean. There's not a single spot on the floor. So he just pulled up to the car wash with a clean car. Homeboy definitely doesn't get bitches because he's wasting his time doing this shit oh oh my god that is just cringe right there you are putting your skateboard and leaning it up against your car truck side down oh my god what 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 kind of fucking brain dead moron are you at least i have a carbon lip though carbon lip stock wheels debadged so we can already tell it's a 328i he doesn't say what trim it is so i'm gonna bet 328i because this doesn't look like anything cool but for alabama this is probably the coolest car they got out there you just let me know with this one photo how fake of a car person you are because nobody in in their right mind would lean an object up against their new car fuck no oh my god honda civic si sedan nk rpf ones how original 
Drew, that's what you have on yours. I know. How original for me, too. The fenders just look black. They don't look like carbon fiber. The hood kind of looks like carbon fiber, but I think he just wrapped his fenders black. Either that or he got into a collision, and that's the best he could do. Weather guards, of course, because everybody loves little accessories on their car. Okay, the fenders kind of look carbon here, but you're wasting more money subtracting weight that doesn't already exist on this car. How about you just try to add new power or go buy a different car? How... Fuck, man, there's like a hair in my fucking eye. How about you just try to add power to this piece of shit instead of just changing the look of it with some shitty carbon? Carbon fiber does not make you faster. Unless you're replacing doors or hatches, you're not gaining any power or losing much weight from this. And most people probably don't think it looks cool because it's strapped to a fucking Honda Civic. Nobody's batting their eye and saying, dude, did you see that Honda Civic with the carbon fenders? No one's ever said those words, especially when they don't even look good on the car. Roast my SS no problem so he's got the updated six gen camaro these came in right after i stopped working at the dealership and i am so happy because i would have just been embarrassed parking these in the front lot the front ends look like a tahoe they don't look aggressive at all it looks like optimus prime which isn't a good look okay dressing like a cartoon character isn't cool and of course homeboy's first fucking mod is some neon underglow because we're back in 2002 like i like the camaro ss but if the first thing you do to your camaro ss is put neon underglow on it i don't like you that probably goes for all cars though if that's your first mod i don't like you first thing you should do probably if you buy a car like this is learn how to take a fucking photo with your camera straight stop fucking tilting it all sideways to try to make it look cool it's a stock camaro you're not gonna make it look cool not even the neon underglow is doing that Another angled photo. Shitty ass photo. Ah, uh, straight on photo. And look, it's just as bland as I thought. Show me the Mopar next to it. At least it's in a cool color. Oh God, convertible 5.0. As if the rental dealership didn't have enough of these. You have a Roush splitter on it. Already, I could tell you're making bad financial decisions. You got the convertible and you put a shitty splitter on it. You got an aggressive wheel setup. Let's see if you have anything to back it up. Oh put the top down and put on the stockies again did you paint your brake calipers red i see that you ain't fooling me you took a forty thousand dollar car and painted the brake calipers red to look more aggressive you might as well paint your nose red too to look like the clown you are that front lip is not doing it for you man that shit looks like a shovel doesn't look good from any angle neither do those shitty ass brakes at least you put a whipple supercharger on it although with the stock wheels i don't imagine that you're hooking all that well how much power did it make? 650? That's it? From a, a Gen 5 3 liter, you only made 650 horsepower on a Gen 3 Coyote? Whoever tuned this shit, go get your money back. I believe the Whipple factory carb legal tune makes almost 700 horsepower. So I'm talking to the wheels. Bro, I'd sell my car. If I got smoked by a convertible, I'm selling that shit. I'm selling it. Ain't, ain't fucking happening. You spray painted your 350Z with 33 CS on it. Don't know what the fuck that means. It's a autocross bolt-on time attack 350Z. Okay, sure. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. Saying it's a track car isn't an excuse to make your car ugly. I don't know what kind of weird fucking color combos you're into, but white, blue, and pink do not go together. Useless. Took the words right out of my mouth. Are you referring to the driver or the car? Because honestly, I could probably say the same to both. This has to be the lamest looking track car I've ever seen. The fitment isn't even good. The color isn't even good. You don't have a cool livery on it. What are you doing with your life? For a second, I thought that was an Apple sticker. I was about to flame you up even more, but... At least it's not that. And every photo too, it just looks slightly broken. Like this one looks like it's leaning really hard. This one also looks like it's leaning really hard. I don't know why you're wearing a helmet either. The track should just let you on without it because you're clearly not going fast enough to hurt yourself. Another BMW. And oh my God, this one's even worse than the one before. At least the one before was just owned by a dumbass. This one is owned by a dumbass with a little bit of money because he's modding it. We got ESR fake TE37s. They're not the AP6s that I used to have on mine. Those are the blatant ripoff TE37 reps. And I talked to ESR about why they're still making them. And it's because dumbasses like this keep buying them. They're not going to get rid of them. Why would they get rid of one of their hottest selling wheels when dumbasses keep buying them? Also, you, you, you curbed ears a little bit there, buddy. Maybe you shouldn't have put your little wide body flares on if you didn't know how much wider you actually were. Okay, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. That's cool. We're just gonna ignore all of that. But at the same time, he said it's only making 400 wheel horsepower. So is it that cool then? 400 wheel horsepower with 20 pounds of boost? Doesn't sound right. Doesn't sound right at all. How do you build such an ugly fucking car, but then have a cool ass engine bay? Like, did your dad help you with the engine bay? And then did you just get to decorate it? Because this looks like a fucking 12 year old did it. And this looks like a manly man did it. And seriously, I mean, if you have money like this, maybe, uh, maybe don't have the reps. Maybe don't have that. And then he also said he has fake carbon fiber everywhere. <laughs> You're not cute. 
full bolts on 91 tune Q50 Red Sport on welds? You fucking put your car on welds and it's just full bolts on on 91. Maybe breaks 450 wheel horsepower, maybe? And you need welds and slicks? What is wrong with people? What is wrong with this generation? I can't stand this enough. You got the RPF ones up front, which are one of the cheapest wheels you can buy. I mean, they're authentic, but the cheapest wheel you can buy. And then you have fucking welds in the rear. Come on, man. And now you're in a canyon. Now, you're, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Cause the welds are gonna do great in a canyon. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, cause they're gonna do great. Oh my God, I can't with these people, bro. If your car isn't making over 500 wheel horsepower, you don't need welds. My Supra, doesn't have welds and i make over 700 horsepower so what the fuck does that say about these people these people are stupid wasting their money you could have spent your money elsewhere making your car actually faster instead you went with the fucking wheels those wheels ain't cheap either my buddy picked up some for his whippled mustang and 1500 bucks wheels and tires that's 1500 bucks at least at least because i was with a homie hookup too i can't th th this car is pissing me off more than any car out there just because of the fucking weld man i like pulling up on people like you too with my non weld wheels and just slaughtering you just fucking <laughs> gone q50 red sport oh my god the q50 red sport all-wheel drive sedan makes 400 horsepower and weighs 4,000 pounds even with full bolt-on, I don't think you're seeing 500 horsepower. I'm being quite honest, and I think a lot of people will agree with me. Take the welds off. You didn't earn them, but it hooks so good, bro. I guarantee a nice compound will make you hook just as good, and you won't look as stupid. Another Mustang. Oh, great. What kind of wheels we got here? SVE, which I believe is like another kind of like rep company just through late model restoration or something. They're just cast wheels at the end of the day. They're just cast wheels. After casting, the wheels are flow formed, blah, blah, blah. Fancy jargon. They only cost $1,100, $1,200. That's not that expensive for wheels. Let's see if there's anything else to back him up because so far this is looking like a fat L. Okay, at least he's not on welds. I mean, I'm looking underneath this hood. He might need to be on welds, Heike. I see an intercooler. Fuck, might need to be on welds. Oh, that's actually a good photo. Take this shit off, though. This goofy shit back here, this ABS plastic with self-tappers, take it off. You have some nice high-end carbon, and then you have this cheap-ass fucking shit made in some kid's science class. That's cool. Too bad the rest of the car doesn't look as professional as this. You got the cheap ABS louvers. You got the cheap ABS fucking diffuser. You got the cheap fucking wheels. Can't have the cool ass engine bay and have the whack ass car. I'm just saying. I'm just I'm just I'm just saying what people are thinking. Can't do that, you know? Sorry. Your engine bay is cool though. It is. All right, we'll do one more. I don't know how long this video is. If you guys want to see another video, like I said, hit the smash button. Hit the smash me. Smash me. Smash the like button. 5,000 likes and I'll do one ASAP. What is this? I see a harness bar, no harnesses. <laughs> that actually kind of fucking hurt. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's see. All right, all right. I don't think I can do that on camera. I was going to hold an airsoft gun up to my head and blow my brains out, but I think YouTube would get upset. What is going on here, man? What is... Oh, God. So we have a header. Oh, is it turbo? No, it's not turbo. I, I saw this and I thought it was some sort of wastegate shit, but that looks like his O2 sensor. I I look like a wastegate flange. Okay, sorry. Anyways, um, yeah, it's definitely not turbo because the, in, the intake just goes straight into the intake manifold. So cool battery though. Yeah, I got the Everstart. Sick build. Why is your hood off? Put that shit back on. No one wants to see this. Sick ass fart cam, bro. This Camry's going hard, dude. Fuck. Oh my. He's got that wheel. He's got the, you know, the, 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 the he's got that one he's got that wheel that shit's sick oh with the harness bar made by painted blue because of the yeah you got a bunch of fake shit in here man i'm seeing straight through that steering wheel and straight at that fucking automatic shifter what brand is this wheel this shit does not look safe this wheel will kill you go like this on the fucking wheel and so let's see how long it stays on come on yeah i don't like this what does he have on the on the wheel kelly who's kelly kelly edge what kind you don't even have matching tires. Oh, that, those must be his slicks right there. Oh, that, oh, that's why. That's his racing setup. That's why he's got the slicks up front, the all seasons in the rear. That makes sense. It's a front wheel drive car. My bad. My bad. My bad. Those Kelly tires go hard. Those Kelly tires go hard. And then the fog lights and the fart can. Oh my God. All right. I'm done with this video. My head hurts. Anyways, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you do want to see another video like this, go ahead and hit the like button. Like I said, 5,000 likes and I will make another one. Submit your cards to my Gmail, drewpeacock.clips at gmail.com. Put in the subject bar roast and it should end up in a future video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. And until next video, peace.